Hey guys, what's up? It's Lacey, and today I'm going to be showing you my very own small bathroom makeover. So this room was done on a really small budget, and I'm going to show you guys what I did to make this look like this. There were several issues with this room and why it wasn't working for us. So the first problem was the toilet paper holder was all the way across on the other wall across from the toilet. And that was an issue because my daughter couldn't reach it. So I always had to keep an extra roll of toilet paper on the sink or behind the toilet. The other issue was that the towel rack was way off centered and it was too high. My daughter couldn't reach it and it just wasn't functional for us at all. And as you can probably tell by my pictures, there was no space for any of our stuff. We have so much stuff like makeup, skincare, hair care, sunglasses, necklaces, just a bunch of jewelry and accessories. And hello, we're girls. Like we need space for all this stuff. So I was actually using a, like a plastic Tupperware, you know, one of those rolling bin things. I mean, let's be honest, it just didn't look nice. And there's apparently no shame here because, um, yeah, I just took the pictures as is. I didn't want to sugarcoat it for you guys. Like, this is how it was, and it's so bad. It's so embarrassing. But, I mean, this was temporary, and I knew that something had to change. As you can see, this whole wall isn't being utilized. It's just plain walls. There's no storage of any sort. And with this much wall space, it was super easy to find ways to make more storage without taking up a lot of floor space. So I wanted to find a linen cabinet, you know, to keep all my towels and makeup and all that kind of stuff. And I wanted it to be tall. That way I could store a lot of stuff. And then that mirror has got to go. And then I also wanted to add some more storage above the toilet, you know, like a little medicine cabinet or some sort of cabinet, you know, for extra bars of soap and Q-tips and stuff like that. So after I had all this planned out, what I wanted, I took the measurements and then I got to work on the room. I removed all the old towel racks and the toilet paper holder and patched up the holes and then I started painting the room all white. And of course I did my Dalmatian spot walls that I have a video on. I spray painted the toilet paper holder and then also my shower curtain hooks. Since we already had the measurements already planned out, we headed to Habitat for Humanity Restore. Pleasantly surprised that we found an old medicine cabinet that we could kind of redo a little bit. It was all black and we painted the cabinets white with some chalky paint. We just painted it up and then we put it back together and then we hung it up on the wall. And I love the contrast with the black and white. I think it's so pretty. And before we only had just a regular shower liner, but I actually wanted some shower curtains for the outside. So I got two pairs and then I just DIY'd them and I have a video for that as well. And these beautiful pink Betsy Johnson towels at Burlington. I got these anchor hooks from Target and I really like them because they have so much personality but they're still neutral. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in like a marine themed room. I love how neutral they are but they still have so much personality. On there and it's really easy now because Jaylee can reach them. It's a lot more convenient this way. Most of the artwork here is by a local tattoo artist here in Indianapolis. And then the Good Vibes Only is actually a free printable that you can get off my blog that I made. And I really like that I have these. They're picture frames from Walmart. They're 11 by 14, but they're matted to 8 by 10. And I really like them because I can just easily change out the artwork whenever I get tired of it. It took me quite a while to find a linen cabinet that I liked because most of them were either really cheap looking or they were really short or they were really, really expensive or they had glass in them and I didn't want anything that you could see through because the point of the linen cabinet to me in my bathroom was to hide all my stuff and just throw it in there and for it not to be seen. So I found this one on Amazon and I really like it. I like the height of it and it fits everything in there perfectly. You know, I can store extra towels in there and basically all of my stuff and Jaylee's stuff with no problem. 
And I found this gold Victorian style mirror at Walmart for really, really cheap. I think it was like $20. And then the rest of the decor is just stuff that I had laying around that I just kind of filled up, filled in the empty spaces with. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this inspires you in some way, shape, or form. Um, I love the Hollywood Regency style. That's really, it's really my personal favorite. So if you really like this look, you can go on my blog and get this look. And I have a design board put together for inspiration and also links to where you can purchase some of the things that I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.